you know, their first hit's a double, their second hit's a home run. Uh, you know, we pull him after eight innings, and uh, he was in the 90s. Uh, we, we really felt like we needed to get him. He's going to pitch next week on short rest going next Thursday. I mean, there's a lot going through your head as a coach. You know, you, you feel like he deserves to try to finish, but then again, we leave him out there, and they tie it, and we think, you know, we leave our guy in the bullpen, and, and then when they score, you wish you'd have left him in. It's just the way the game works, you know? Yeah, you know, and, and they do a good job against lefties, and the numbers show that, but you still got to go with the guys that have that have done it all year, and that's Mike Gunn. He's left-handed. He's got a good arm. He's fresh, and uh, it didn't happen, but, you know, the deep, but the offense picked him up. I mean, Bernal fouls off a 1-2 pitch, goes a 2-2, and he gets just enough to get a single, nice bunt, and, uh, you know, Joe, Joe gets two breaking balls in a row. First one's a strike, second one's a strike, and he went down and just did what you're supposed to do with the breaking ball, and that's hit it right back where it came from. Don't try to pull it. Just hit it back through the middle. Um, you know, with Bratson in center, he's got a great arm. He can really run. He was playing shallow, and we just took a chance, and throw was right on the money, but, you know, at this time of night, Grass gets a little slick, and, you know, it looked like to me that he was going to have trouble fielding it because of the skip, and that's what happened. Just for the game to tie up, and, and then you guys not wasting time to win it, not let it go to extra innings, drag on for a while. Big even. Well, I think that's big for us. You know, you know, we got some injuries and young guys out there. Boy, you, the, the more the game goes on, I really feel like the pressure was on us. Uh, you know, we're, we, we really needed to win that game. We let it slip away, and then for us to go back and grab it there and, uh, you know, that that was really big for our team. What would you think of Glass was job? I, I thought he did a great job. You know what? When you, when a catcher does a good job, you really don't notice him. And didn't notice him. He didn't miss any pitches. He didn't, you know, balls didn't get away from him. I mean, he did a nice job. Really proud of him. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect him to hit today. He, had a, he almost got an RBI. Uh, I think his second at bat, he had a ball right on the nose, just happened to go right at somebody. And, uh, I don't think I could have asked or thought he could have done a better job than he did first time out. Also, he in the leadoff spot, filling in obviously for back throw. What did you think about I thought he did a great job. I mean, he's he, a sack bunt, a home run, single. I think he stole the base, um, battled, and, uh, you know, just did a tremendous job. They're just trying to make sure that we weren't too hot, top heavy, bottom, you know, and, and, you know, we scored just enough to win, but he did a tremendous job. We left a lot of runners out there. We were one hit away from breaking that thing open twice, and uh, it just didn't happen. They did a great job pitching. When you think about having a reserve catcher and, and not having one of your starters this week, uh, just, just how big do you think what Trey's performance, or how big do you think that was? Well, it was huge. I mean, you know, he could have he could have been kind of feeling sorry for himself, thinking, man, i got to throw to a guy that hadn't caught all year, and, you know, now I can't bounce my slider when I'm ahead 0-2, 1-2. He just pitched like he normally does. He trusted Gosser. Gosser got it done, and... I think as the game went on, I think Trey started feeling more comfortable uh, throwing to him and uh, started using his changeup, bouncing it, slider, bouncing it when he was ahead trying to get him to chase, knowing that, you know, that Alex could block it, and he did a good job. Did, did Gasser seem nervous for the game? Or did he have no, he didn't seem nervous. We were over there commenting his first at bat. He probably can't feel his legs right now because I've been there. We've all been there as a player. You're so nervous, and, you know, you really – you just – you just – I don't know. It's It's tough, but – Thought he handled it very well. Um, you know, a lot of people talked to him. I called him today early. You know, I know Jake's talked with him. Coach Flanders has been working with him. And I think I think he uh, he did a good job. He just did a good job. Speaking of Jake, is he going to undergo more tests? Yeah, we'll know tomorrow if he can go tomorrow. Um, if he can't, hey, we, we got a guy. So, you know, hey, sometimes things happen for a reason. If Jake's ready to go, he'll go. But if he's not, you know, Alex will go. And, uh, you know, if, even if Jake can go and it doesn't doesn't go real good for him, I know I got another guy I can put in there. Well, if you the fans, they, they, gave him the they recognized it. I appreciate that. I know he did too. Uh, they feel like that he probably gave up a little bit for for us. And uh, you know, he's a he's a very smart kid, and he'll he'll graduate in four years. And uh, you know, we've had a lot of conversations. So you know, he wanted to play. You made that comment. Well, I mean, it was huge. I mean, the A&M has, has been hot, and they've been winning those games. And, uh, you know, that ninth inning when they were rallying, they probably thought, here we go, man, we're going to win it again because they've been doing it. And, uh, 
you know, that was a huge out, uh, you know, for Gunn to get Gideon there and uh, get us in the dugout and give us a chance. We knew we had the nine hole hitter up with the top coming up, and if we could get him on, I mean, our dugout erupted when we saw that ball leave Bernal's bat because we knew it was in immediately. And then, you know, you know, you're gonna if you go to lay down a bunt, you got you got the middle of the order, got a chance to drive somebody in and win a game. The other day you said you, you don't think like you said he probably won't play this weekend. Maybe yeah. You said, Do you have any more of it? Yeah, he, I mean, he didn't even take batting practice today, and uh, I've got him on the 27 man roster, but. Uh, it won't happen. A few more questions, guys. Cash been attending. Uh, was that scary? Just yeah, it was scary. That ball just kept slicing away from him. He looked like he had it under control. The ball was jumping or not. I think everybody here noticed it. It's like we were playing in Colorado or something. The ball just kept traveling. The air was thin. The ball, the wind was, I guess, light out of the west. I mean, that ball to left field just jumped. The, the, even the home run they hit, I thought it was a deep fly ball. It had a lot of backspin. It went out of the park. You don't see that here very much. No, I mean, he just competes. I think he's been frustrated because he's gotten some chances, some opportunities he hasn't got it done. And, you know, he feels like he got a, a chance last weekend, did well against Ole Miss on Sunday, got another one, did a great job. He'll be in the lineup again tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Okay.